This is Granada. A fall in the cost of mortgages is expected shortly following the reduction in bank interest rates. Britain's biggest building society, the Halifax, has already hinted at cheaper home loans. The base lending rate was cut by half a percent to seven and a half percent, its lowest level for ten years. Some Conservatives are saying the drop signalled a victory for the Chancellor, Mr Lawson, over Mrs Thatcher. She told the Commons that she and the Chancellor were in complete agreement. Downing Street tonight denied the Prime Minister had been kept in the dark about the base rate cut. President Reagan has spoken for the first time about the accusations made by his former Chief of Staff that his appointments and decision-making were influenced by astrologers. Mr Reagan said he has an open mind about the craft, but denied that any major meetings were planned or decisions made on the basis of astrology. Nothing, nothing of that kind was going on. Uh, this was all, once again, smoke and mirrors. And uh, we made no decisions on it, and we're not uh, binding our lives to this. And um, I don't mean to offend anyone who does be believe in it or engages in it seriously. Do you believe in it? Do you believe in it? I don't guide my life by it, but I won't answer the question the other way because I don't know enough about it to say. One person is reported killed and ten are missing following a fire on a Soviet passenger liner in Japan. The fire broke out while the ship the Premier was in dock in Osaka. It's said to be listing heavily. The rest of the passengers have now been taken ashore. The printer, Arthur Sagar, who stole a bingo ticket giving a million pound prize to a grandmother from Blackpool, was jailed for five years and ordered to pay nearly £32,000 in compensation by Preston Crown Court. The grandmother, Mrs Phyllis Hanlon, was cleared earlier of all charges. The TVAM star Anne Diamond has lost a court battle against her former agent Paul Vaughan, which some reports say will cost her as much as £350,000. Mr Vaughan negotiated Miss Diamond's presenter's job on TVAM and was suing her for breaking off their contract. Apart from compensation, Miss Diamond agreed to pay legal costs. That's all from this bulletin. I'll be back a little later in the morning. Look forward to seeing you there.